Now in this question, part one, we have to find the sum of the first 10 terms of this geometric progression. So the sum of the first 10 terms of this progression. So let's see, we have 81, 54, 36. What is the common ratio? R will be the value of 54 divided by the first term. 54 divided by 81, that should be 2 over 3. So this is the value of R. Now we also know the value of A, which is the first term, is 81. Right. So now we can use this to find the value of the sum of the first 10 terms. That should be A, which is 81, times 1 minus R, which is 2 over 3, power N, which is 10, over the value of 1 minus R, which is 2 over 3. Again, this is a formula given to you on your list. You don't need to memorize that. However, you need to know how to find the value of R, for example. So you have to know that R is equal to, for example, here we have three terms. We can either do R, the second term, divided by the previous term, or you can do 36 divided by the previous term. So this is exactly what you kind of have to know or kind of realize that we can also find out using these terms. If you don't know, no worries, you can always revert back to your formula, which is the n term, for example, it is given to you by a r n minus 1. From this, we can simply find r. We know the first term is equal to 81, so that would be 81. Here we have r. And then um, we can find, sorry, we can find the, we can, we can say second term is 54. So second term is 54, so we can write 54 is the second term equal to 81 times r, n is 2, second term is 2, minus 1 is 1. So r will be 54 divided by 81, which is going to give you 2 over 3 as well. So again, two methods of finding the value of r, which is the first thing we need to do in this question. Now, moving on, sum of the first 10 term, we just have to solve this, that will be 1 minus 2 over 3 power 10 times 81 divide by 1 minus 2 over 3. That will be 238.786. That will be what? 239, correct, 23SF. Now for part 2, we have to find the sum of all the terms in this arithmetic progression. Now as you can see, this is the progression that we have. We realize the value of A, which is the first term, is 180. Right. Now what is the common difference? As you can see, it will be 175 minus 180, what is that? 175 minus 180. That will be minus 5. So the value of D will be minus 5. Now, we have to know how many terms do we have in this progression. So we know that the last term, so let's call the last term is equal to 25. So what is the term of 25? So replace, we know that the n term is given to you by the formula, which is A plus n, sorry, it is not, um, let me write this down because we might forget, it is good actually. So the n term, that will be a plus n minus 1 times d for your arithmetic progression. So you, you kind of have to know this, but again, it is given to you on your list of formulas as well, you don't need to memorize. So this have to be 25. So we have to find the term of this when the value is 25. So A is given to you by 180 plus N minus 1 times D, that will be minus 5, and that should be 25. So let's see what do we have. So first thing first, we can send this over here, you will have. So here we have this for now, and that should be 25 minus 180, that should be minus 155, right? And then N minus 1 should be 155 divided by, that should be 31. So finally, n has to be 32. So we realize that we have 32 terms in this progression. Now with that knowledge, we can find the sum of the 32 terms in this progression. Now we understand the sum of the first n term is given to you by what formula? We have to know it is half times n, and then we have 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Right. So simplify or replace back in your formula, half is half, n is 32, 2a, a is 180, plus n minus 1 is 32 minus 1 is 31, times d will be minus 5. So let's see what happens. 
So let's do the inside first. You have 2 times 180 plus 31 times minus 5. That should be 205 times 32 divided by 2. That should be 3280 as a sum of all the terms or all the 32 terms of this progression. And that will be a question in relation to series.